Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to uh, some Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, we're doing a quick draft with Hour of the Devastation. We just played a super long, grindy game after finishing our first draft, and uh, it just went and went and went, and wow, it was long and really, really, it was fun to play, probably wasn't super fun to watch, but we are going to go ahead... And we are going to head into the next game. Hopefully this one does not go as long, because that was crazy. I can't believe how crazy that game was. Alright. Opponent goes first. We're going to be on the draw here. As we look at the horns of Nicobolus in the background. He has taken a little bit of time to figure out if he's going to mulligan or not. Taking a really good time. There we go. I wish I could see. Oh, it looks like he mulliganed. Alright, we got our one drop mountain. We have a three drop blank, so we just need to draw... We need to draw a forest by turn three. I'm going to keep that. I really should not keep a two lander, but we have a one drop and a three drop. If we can draw one land, we're good to go. That's what we need. We got our bomb, we need one land, we got it. Alrighty. We got what we needed. So we get that out there. Get our insider. Do some hasting and do some face face hitting. Hit him in the face. Alright, what is this? You can embalm it at the beginning of combat on your turn. Target creature token you control gets plus one, plus one. It can't be blocked. So he's got maybe some token synergy for us to worry about. Who knows? Uh, but we got our two drop here, so we're gonna pop this guy out. Gonna do this. We are not gonna give it haste because there's no reason to attack. So we're going to end our turn. And then next turn, we're going to drop our bomb. As long as our guy, our give stuff haste guy, survives. He's got white and blue, so he might have some removal we have to worry about. Oh, no, just a giant camel. So we're going to put our big dude out here. He's probably going to attack with his 2-2. No, there's no reason for him to. We can just block it. All right. Alrighty, so now we're going to do this. Oh, he's not going to like this. Let's get our desert out. Drop our big dude. Uh, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, there we go. We're going to this guy to here. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and... Do we swing him with both? No, we just swing with him. There we are. I would be okay with him dying to clear his board. I'm okay with that. If he double blocks, I'll clear his board. Oh. He opted to take the five. Okay. Who knows? I mean, he's going to be able to swing in for quite a bit with this thing. It's got lifelink. He doesn't have any deserts, though. So the 3-2 and the 2-2 are coming in. We're going to block the 2-2. And get going. Oh, we're going to get our dude out there. All right. Well, this is going to be... This is going to be sad. For He's not going to like us here. Because we're going to put this big trampling dude out on the board. Uh, no. We're going to go to combat. No, we can give him haste. What am I thinking? Uh... Boom! Give him haste. And then swing in with those two. This is going a lot better in our match last episode. Woo! Alright, let's see what he's got. He may have a way to stop us here. Things have gone bad. When he enters, you gain three life. Okay. So we put a 3-3 three, three out there. 
Uh, we can put another desert out. We can put another trampler out. Uh, destroy creature. Planeswalker, we don't have enough to do that. Now, uh, let's get this guy out. He comes in tapped. That ain't no big deal. I don't want to cycle it. I want to put it out. Boop. Because here's what we're going to do. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We are going to spend... Oh, can we... Oh, we don't have two green. Oh, we don't have two green. Um, so we go to combat. And we go to attack. And then I guess we go for a board clear? I mean, I guess that's the way we do it. I feel good about that. Oh, I should have cast this... No, he doesn't get prowess from creature spells. Okay. So we'll see what he blocks here. So he's going to double block there. Uh, so we're going to get the board clear. Unless he... You know, he doesn't have any tricks. And he's going to let the other one through. Okay. Uh, two and two. That'll be fine. I'm okay with that trade. Because we really do wipe out a lot of the field. This thing has Embalm for 5. So that's going to come back as a 4-4 four, four in a bit. Uh, we're going to run our Naga out here. Uh, we're going to use the right type of mana. Throw our Naga out there. We should have done that before and hasted him. I didn't do that because I'm a moron. Alright, so he's going to get his 4-4 four, four zombie out here. Or he's going to cast something giant that we're going to get rid of. Yeah. So I'm not too worried. If we can draw one more swamp, we can get rid of that thing. Oh, it's only a 2-2. Two -two. Ah, it was Embalm, not Eternalize. Okay. He doesn't ha oh, it's its own token. Okay. I didn't see how that would work. I get it. Of course, he's not attacking, so that's fine. All right, we got what we need. Tap an om tap creature. We can get rid of something. So, uh, let's put this out here. Uh, we can go ahead and we need three mana for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six mana. So we're going to put this out here. We are going to make sure to tap the green, the red, and this right here. All right, so that's going to go out. Then we're going to give this haste. All right, then we're going to use this. We're going to kill the flyer. And we're going to tap this. We're going to tap our prowess dude. And then... Yes. That. And then... Wait. Why didn't it tap... Alright, good. Why didn't it tap correctly? Tap this. Destroy this. We're running out of time because this isn't tapping right. Tap a creature we control. Tap this. Oh, this is going wrong and it's making me angry. We're going to run out of time to do this. Give me black mana. Play this here. There we go. Woo! A little bit of an interface problem. All right, and then, there we go. Woo! Couldn't get the interface to do what I wanted it to. Oh, we would have won anyways without all that nonsense. I didn't realize we had actually won. Now I feel like a jerk. I feel like a jerk for doing all that. Okay. 
I was do I was overthinking what we needed to do to win. Get our hundred hundred buckaroos. Move up the prize pool. Let's keep going. We're only uh, ten minutes into the video here. These videos are kind of hard to gauge. You see other people sit down and play this and they'll be like, here's a two hour video, here's a three hour video. I don't know if you guys want to watch that or not, but if you just want to put my my beautiful voice on in the background, these videos will be a little bit longer, give you a little bit more to listen to. I'll even speak in a lower, deeper voice, just for those listening. Uh, the opponent's going first. Ooh, we got a pretty good draw here. Got a desert, got some land, got a wall, got two nagas, that's a keeper. And we're going to draw into something. Hmm. Alright, no turn one, so we put our comes out tapped ability. We get our trample synergy going. Ugh. When it dies, if you control a desert, there's a desert card in your graveyard, target player discards a card. He's got no desert, so no biggie there. Uh, what did we draw? Oh, we drew that thing. Okay. Uh, let's get a... Uh, a forest out here. Why does it think I can play that? And one, two. Oh, it has cycling. That's. I'm trying to figure out what what it was trying to tell me I could play off that card. I forgot that they had a lot of the cards have cycling. We're gonna take our two damage here. Oh, that's a problem. All right. He's indestructible. Lorify can't attack or block unless a creature died under your control this turn. Spend two mana to sacrifice another creature. Scry one. Each opponent loses one life and you gain one. Well, that's... That's just, just one heck of a big card. That is, uh... That is a game-winning card right there. I don't think we have a way to deal with that. Oh, we do. Uh, does our card destroy or does it exile? Our one piece of removal that we have. Um, and of course, this wall will protect us from him at all times. So, let's get this out here. Let's put out this giant wall. Because he's only a 4-6. So... That's really going to help us. What do we got here? Desert? Okay. Alright, so we have to discard a card. This, we don't have any mountains. We'll get rid of that. So he sacked his creature. He's going to attack. I can't. Is he can't be blocked. He's unblockable. Oh, he's got menace. Okay, I didn't realize the menace part. That's upsetting. He does four damage, and he has to sack a creature every time. So, not terrible. I wish we had our. Gives us a haste, dude out here right now, but we don't, unfortunately. Uh, so let's get one of our trampoly dampolies out here. I have a feeling that's gonna be, that's gonna be a, hey, this deck just has a super strong card, you lose to it, uh, deal. Oh, and he's got that thing. Oh, yeah, this is, this is a bit sad. Uh, it's four, five, six. Uh, we'll lose three life. Ooh, man. I tell you what. This is a bad, bad story going on here. If we had another wall, we'd probably be set, actually. No, we're out of luck. Hmm. Unless we draw our removal card, 
we're gonna be we're gonna be in some trouble He can't do anything. We're gonna lose three life maybe next turn? Okay. That's fine. Alright, so he's done. We're going to discard a card, and we're going to get rid of this planes because we don't need it. <gasps> we got our removal, and we don't... <sighs> oh, it's destroy. It is destroy. I thought it was exile for a minute, but it's not. It's a destroy card. So, he can wipe these two guys off our board. But he doesn't know that. Uh, so... I mean, we gotta race. If you're gonna race, do it right. I wish we could just... Can I just move this up higher? <laughs> I mean, if we can keep the creatures off his board, he doesn't get to do a lot. And I'll be happy to discard a card here. Take care of one damage. Okay, he got his creature out. Untap something. We can stop his attack this turn, but then we won't have something to sack. So we're going to discard. Oh, I see. So we can make him discard down, and then it's a race against this stupid card. So we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to swing in, we're going to choose him, is not able to block. So he's going to take 8 and have to discard. Okay. This is very tough. All right. He has four, five, six, seven. The thing has a menace. I'm gonna discard a card. We don't have double black. We can't destroy it. So I'm gonna discard this. Because I can put a zombie out next turn. Okay, yeah, I think, I think I may have, we may have just won, maybe? Oh man, if only, if only. Alright, so, combat, we attack with all. 
we again, you're not allowed to block. Okay, he kills. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Uh, we need a big body. Because I need to be able to block... And that leaves us a card in hand to discard so that we don't take damage from that next turn. And he has no way to... Okay, he got a 2-2 out. Target creature card with in your hand. Okay. He's going to have enough mana. He's going to be able to put three things on the board. On our tune, though, we're going to be able to stop one of them. Okay. So far, we're still alive. We're still in this, everybody. We're not that in this still, but we're still in it. And it was a camel. He's doing math. He's doing the math. Oh, I thought this was in our hand, not our graveyard. Oh. All right. We have to get rid of the wall. I, depending what card he has... Oh, he doesn't have a card that helps him. Okay. Well. We got a comp. Did we, did we just win? I think we just won. I don't think he can stop the damage. I don't think he can stop us. Oh, he's gonna be, no, that's only gonna get him to eight. Oh! Woo! Did not expect to win that one. I thought we were dead. That'll teach you to put an un indestructible card on the field that eats up the rest of your board. Ooh. Claim those prizes. Alright, we're up to two wins. 200 gems in a pack. Let's go. For win number three, shall we? I think we can do it. Feeling good. I'm feeling energized by that last round. Oh, that felt good. This deck is still garbage. This is still an awful draft deck. I don't know... I don't know how we won that, but... We are going to go up against Dena Beast. Dena Beast. Dena Beast. Alright, so we got three land. Ooh, we got our fun enchantment. We got our wall. We got our one drop and a three drop. We're going to keep that. We're not going to be able to have a turn one play, but... I feel good. We got a turn two, we got a turn three. We got a couple options. And our turn three play can depend on what he puts on the board. We can either go aggressive or we can go defensive. Whichever way we want. Of course, he has to choose if he's going to mulligan or not. Or she. I assume Dena Beast is probably a she. Ooh, we're, we've been matched up. That's a gold. And we're this, like, silvery color. Hey, hey, the game thinks highly of us. Which, I think there's some... I don't think it's completely random the way it's matching in the background. Um, and the reason I say that... I was playing just some regular competitive, some constructed. And I was playing my version of Red Deck Wins that I have based on the cards I have available in this game. Um, if you're not familiar with Red Deck Wins, it's basically... Um, Beaumont Courier, Chain, Goblin Chain Whirler... Uh, Heart of Kirin, Pia Nilar, Nilar. Ooh, hey, he's got that card we have. Um, it's basically just 
get in their face, get out their faster creatures, keep attacking. It's a really nice, fun deck to play. Um, man, we, do we need to go? I'd rather he pay for the creature he's about to play. Um, but I feel like when I was playing online, and I'll do a video, I'll play it, we'll see if it does the same thing. I pretty much only, that tech, that deck is very much a high tier deck as far as its, its win rate goes online. And when I played it, I pretty much only was ever matched up against other people that were playing the same, ver a, a version of the same deck I was playing, a red, mono-red aggro deck. Or the top tier zombies deck, which if you haven't seen is pretty cool. Um, it's got a lot of zombies and zombie anthems. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's a really cool deck. Uh, but again, it felt like I only ever played against those. Uh, that I never played against some, like, mid-tier decks or anything like that. So I feel like there's some, some matching in the background based on deck choice, which I don't like, if that's what's happening. Either that or just everybody who's played and constructed... Uh, free play mode is playing just the best decks ever made. Which I would find hard to believe. What is this? Oh, that thing that we never get to play. Okay. I was like, man, I don't know what card that is. Uh, okay, we got our team third play. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get... Let's get defensive. Let's turtle up here. Let's build a nice, big, beautiful wall of zombies. We'll just huddle up behind it and get all warm in the corpses. It's like the wall from the movie 300. Does he have a 3 drop that's scary? Are we going to take 2 damage? Uh, ooh, got that thing with prowess. That's annoying. I really wish I had that card that made you, like, get rid of something every time. That'd be nice. Alright, so, we're going to block. It really doesn't matter. We're going to take two damage. That's fine. Uh, so we can give trample to all the creatures we don't have on the board. Uh-oh. There it goes, it resolved. That was weird. Uh, let's get this guy out here. Boom! And then we'll just end our turn. So we can... We can definitely... That's a sorcery speed, though. Too bad that's not an instant. If only that was an instant. We need to get that in our graveyard. So he's cycled without weakness. What's that do? Target creature gains indestructible. That's fine. So he's got no mana, does he swing in and trade, is the question? I don't know what I would do. Oh, nope, not going to swing in. No trades today. No trades today. Um, we can give this thing trample. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to pop you down, buddy. We're going to go one, two, three. Get a big old three, two out here. Then we're going to cast a peel on this guy. Which is dangerous because, you know, well, it makes him a six, four. And then we're going to swing in with our buddy here. When it lets me swing in... Oh, he's, he's waiting on something to resolve or he has an action. Uh, attack here. Nice big 6-4. Exile his card out of his graveyard. Does he take 6? Or does he trade... No, it takes six. He puts six in the face. That leaves us two pretty good-sized blockers as well, so that's fine. 
You know, there is a bra is a braid in this? There's a chance he can have it a braid. Again, we didn't see very much removal when we were picking cards. I don't even know what kind of removal would be out there. Hmm. Uh, so trample. Alright, so he swings in. That was a mistake. Uh, he's doing something here, but we're going to kill that. And we're going to kill this, or stop that. I think he made a misplay. Uh, we need... Yes. Yes, she did. There was a misplay. I don't think it was worth abandoning the game at that point. Okay, we got a card. Ooh, we got Spring to Mine. Search your library for a basic land card, put on the battlefield tapped, and then draw two cards. And we got a pack of Corset 2019. Claim those. We're on to win number three. Let's go for win number four. We're going to keep going. 31 minutes into this episode. We keep going here. Ooh, using the Nissa crazy green elf. We all know Sai. We all Urza. Urza right here. Or Karn, I'm sorry. Karn, sign of Urza. Best. Best avatar. Uh, so the opponent's going first. Again, we seem to always go second. Uh, again, we get that first hand and we have some three drops. That's key. There's no reason not to, not to keep this. So we got a desert going down here. Add one mana, reduce the desert, put in the graveyard. So if you cycle that, you get a 2-2 two -two, uh, black zombie. What do you got? What do you got for us, Mori Hiroshi? It's a cool name. Question, do you think that's a real name, or do you think that's a fake name? If it's a real name, hello Mori Hiroshi, hello, I'm assuming Japan. Um, if it's a fake name, eh, it's okay. So how aggressive is this deck we're up against? Oh, we got that camp. Alright, again, what happens when this thing dies? When it dies, we have to discard. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we need to put out a land that's going to give us mana this turn. So that's going to be you. And then we're going to put out this thing. And then we're going to take a camel in the face. Just this, this big slobbery camel. Just going to come right at our face. It's going to be disgusting. Oh, what's this? What is this? Wall of Forgotten deals one damage to target player Planeswalker. Only do this if you control a desert. There's desert card. Here. Oh, so it just pings you for a damage every turn. On on your turn. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty awful. I'm not a fan. Oh. Um, I am a fan of a three-two thing with menace. Uh, oh no, actually. Am I a fan of this? Is this the correct play? Yes. It is the correct play. Because it's going to die to the camel. So maybe it's not the correct play. We'll see. So this card is going to offset this card pretty much. As long as he does like a creature play every turn. Was that a tap land? Yeah. So what's your plan here, buddy? I will gladly trade this zombie for your camel and discard a card. Like I'm down with that. I've made my peace with that trade. Hey, he didn't tap the uh I'm gonna double blackout, which is good. Uh he didn't tap his wall. He wants to block. Which is understandable. Uh, well, let's... Uh, let's do this. 
Uh, let's go to combat. Let's kill the uh, the camel, which is what he's going to force us to do here. I just want to get that camel off the board. It's a body I don't want to deal with. That's fine. Yep, camel first. Boom. Unless he's got some kind of weird pump spell that's in black. Okay. Ping me for the one damage. Got it. And that looks good. Pop the camel. Discard this and make stuff a trampler card. And this. Because the menace will be good anyways. And combat. Oh, if only I had a way to negative two him right now. He's gonna cycle his horror. Okay. Maybe he's got some bring it out of uh bring it out of his hand type stuff, who knows. Uh but we're gonna throw our abomination down on the ground here. He's going to ping us for another damage. Gonna take his one. Again, we're just offsetting the card. Okay. That actually, I'm fine with that. We're going to throw this out. Do you think he'll block? Do we trade again against that wall? Let's see if he'll do it. I mean, I can play this and make him trade, but then we won't be able to put our creature out. Um. Hmm. No, we need more creatures on the board to make that make sense. So let's put this thing out. He's gonna start hitting us for three a turn, which sucks. I mean, for a turn, actually. Uh, no. There's no reason for us to swing in. But soon there shall be. Because soon we shall start hurting him. And it's going to be great. Yep, hit me for three. Boom. No creature coming down. That concerns me. Uh, let's put a desert out here. Uh, let's go ahead and combat. Hmm. Hmm. Get this out of his graveyard. He's got a bunch of men, so he's gonna do something. What's this do? Five damage target attacking or blocking creature. All right. I can't stop that. Oh, I could. No, I don't have enough green mana. Unfortunately. So he's gonna use some removal on that, which is fine. We're still gonna exile his card. He's going to assign his blocker. is no biggie. He 
He's gonna hit us for our one. That hurts a bit. We do three damage. If I had a way to do one damage, that would be great. Um, let's go ahead and get another abomination on the board. And tap this way. So we're gonna take three. That wall is just nice. That is just a good wall. That is a nice card. Wall of the Forgotten Pharaohs. May have to figure something out around that. That's a pretty nice card. Pretty effective card. Surprised we're not seeing a lot of embalm stuff, really. We only saw the one embalming creature so far. Came back as that 2 2 white zombie. Not the band. That would have been awesome. If White Zombie was in this game, oh, people would line up for the concert. Target player draws two cards and loses two life. So a little bit of life traded for card advantage. Got himself a land to drop, which is good. We're going to take our four damage here, unless he pumps something. Then we're going to have a bit of a problem. Alright. So we got a forest. That doesn't help us. Um, well, actually it does. So... I can make him take a bunch of damage or lose his wall. He's gonna have to choose which. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play that. And it's going to get us some cards. He's going to make him discard some cards. Hopefully. Alright. Now, we're going to tap here. We're going to do this. To this creature. We're going to tap for one, two, and three. And then we're going to sacrifice the tap desert. And then we're going to go to combat. Full swing. And we're going to get rid of anything that's a creature. So we're going to get rid of this thing. And we're going to get rid of... Why is this happening again? Are there two of those in there? Am I dumb? Did I just target the same thing twice? Oh no, it has to resolve. I just didn't click or something. Yeah, no, I made a mistake. I didn't realize on the stack, if I was putting those on the stack, I should have thought of that. So he's gonna ping us for our one. He's gonna take all of this. And then he's going to have to do some discarding. Alright, what are you just... What's that? Exile target artifact or enchantment. Why? Oh! Well, okay, we got rid of that. Uh, we need to put this desert into play. Almost missed our land play for the turn. The nice thing, if we got our, if we were to pull our Hydra, our Hydra would come out really, really big, but we wouldn't be able to pump. Oh, oh that is, that's a frustrating thing. That is a frustration. So he just gained himself quite an advantage. 
Um, that's going to be really hard for us to win against. So we're going to go ahead and... We are going to target this. And again, we're going to pay one, two, and one. And we're going to sacrifice our desert here. We can do this one more time. But I don't know that we're going to be able to get through whatever the creatures he has. We've got three turns, two turns, to get this done. He has to block it or he dies. Alright, this time let's not target the same stupid thing. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Note to self. Those effects go on the stack at the same time. So we get our exiling done. He pings us for two. So we go down to six. The next turn we go to three. Two. Yes. Alright, so we kill one. Alright, he cleared the board. So it comes down to what we draw. And unfortunately, a Swampy Swamp is not going to do it. That's just, just not going to save us. We're dead. Oh, that's just a terrible time to Mana Flood on the last turn. Just let it resolve. Hit the Resolve button and go to combat. Oh, he doesn't know what we're holding here. This could be something scary. He doesn't know what this card is. We'll do this to make him think we're highlighting it over and over again. I've got a plan. And the plan is to lose this game. Oh. Good thing he has that wall or he would have just... That was weird. That was just a weird move on his part. I guess he just wanted to be sure he had some some board coverage. Oh. Oh, we ranked down. We went down in rank. Oh, well. So we're at two losses. We're at about 48 minutes. Let's go one more game. One more game. Maybe it'll be our final loss. Maybe it'll be another win, and then we'll have to do another video. We'll see. We're going up against Trev Meister. The Trev Meister. Seeing if he's, uh... Are we gonna go second? Yeah, our opponent always seems to go first. Do you notice that? We never go first. Oh, that's a good... That's... Oh, yeah. That's an A-plus. A-plus beginning. No deserts, but we'll draw into one. Hopefully we'll draw into one. We'll see. I'm hoping. I'm praying. I'm moving the microphone. Oh. Oh, wow. What kind of... What kind of weird... Nonsense has he got going on? That, uh... He had a mulligan down to five. Unless he's got some kind of, like, crazy combo. Or he's just not afraid to mulligan, unlike me. Um, I would rather... Do I want to just go ahead and discard something now? 
I mean, is there anything here I really don't care about? Yeah, I would rather just go ahead and discard something now and get that off the board. Like, I'll just do that. And we're gonna drop this guy. Boop. I mean, if we can keep him from having board presence, that's fine. Oh, he's got that 5-5 five, five thing. Um, luckily... Is this indestructible or anything? No. Luckily, we didn't discard this. Woo! That would have been sad times if that had happened. We get that out of here. I'm not dealing with that. I know how that card works. It's going to do some cycling, get himself some land. It's always good. Uh, we need to do something effective. So let's put this four drop scary bird down. Let's get a creature on the board. I want to get this out there soon, but we need to do something. The stupid camel. Alright, that's fine. Hey, look. I have that same thing. Um, what's in here? Anything? I don't want that coming back. Uh, I want him to pay for every creature he plays. So, one and two. Boom. All right. And then we'll go to combat. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to swing in. And then we'll throw this out here. There we go. Oh, that cursed minotaur, zombie minotaur, fly, buzzy fly sound. Terrible. Just off. He's got one card. It could be the card that wins the game. Um, yeah, I'll take my two damage from the camel. Just camel to the face. No reason not to take it. Uh, let's go ahead and... Combat. Is he going to explode himself? No. Boom! Now who knows? He may have something like destroy all attackers. I don't know. There's no settle the wreckage, but... You never know. He's got something. He's going to kill something that's coming at him. But which one will he kill? With all that mana out there, he's got to do something. Yep. So we kill that guy. We swing for three. Then we put our big honking thingamajig out here. And pass to him. Ooh. The 2-2 two, two. has a flick one. Alright. None of these are zo Oh, that is a zombie minotaur. I didn't realize that was a zombie. Holy moly. Um, well, I guess... I mean... We do this? We go to combat... We attack. I choose the camel because I don't want to discard. We take him down to five. And then we throw this out here. What are you going to do? Yes. I good gamed him. We have good gamed each other. GG, the good manners. We took our win.
Ooh. Finished out one of our little quests for the day, so we'll claim that prize. We're up to four wins. Do we keep going? And let's just go. We're either going to get a loss. We're either going to get a loss in this video, or we're going to uh, get a win. Who knows? We're at 55 minutes. We hit the one hour mark. At the one hour mark, that's where I'm going to cut it off after the one hour mark, whatever game we're in. So we'll go off against uh, Swagoneering. It's a good name. Good name. He's engineering some swag. Again, we're gonna go second. Is it because is it because we won the previous game? We're going, oh yeah. Oh yeah. All day long we keep that. Yeah, we keep yeah. Yeah. This card is not working so well. We should take that out. Um, it just isn't working. Uh, so we get our desert. Boom! Try and figure out what color I'm playing with that. Ooh! Get some cycling on his turn, which is fine. Got a 1 2. What is this? Can't be blocked. Hits you for. For one every turn. That's crazy. Well, let's, uh... Should we keep up the mystery? Let's keep up the mystery. He'll never know. It's all deserts all the time. He's gonna ping us for our one damage. A little bit of a little, uh. That hurts. Hurts me deep. He's gonna cycle his desert eroded on. Uh, we're gonna play our swamp. And we're gonna put out our big dude. And we're gonna see what kind of removal he's got in his hand. He's got a 1 3. Alrighty. Coming at us. Good, good. Alright, hey! We got two mountains. We're gonna be able to get our big dude out there. We're gonna scare him. Then we're gonna comedy combat. Swing in at him. Oh, okay. Go back to our 5-5. Five five, which is cool there. Uh, and then... We're gonna throw out this dude. Because why wouldn't you? Yeah, pay the one. Boom! At least we haven't had to fight a Scarab God yet. Okay, 16 to 18. He's gonna ping us for one. Mess. Message received, sir. Uh, scare him with this mountain. We're going to go to our combat. Uh, yeah. Let's keep... Stay aggressive. Uh, we need this to go away. I need that not to come out of the graveyard. Somehow. Thank you. I like how there's this little exile pile here. What are you gonna do? Okay, he's gonna block. Luckily we have affliction, so he's gonna take three damage. Doing all kinds of stuff. Okay, he killed our big dude, traded. That's fine. We've got another big dude. You know, I'm glad I left him in there. I was going to take him out. But I'm glad I left him in. I feel like we did good. He's got another one of those things. A Jackal Warrior. I mean, we have one of those as well. Uh, everything gets trampled. And draw some cards. That'd be useful. Uh, in fact, we're going to do this. 
we're going to make sure not to tap the swamp. All right, I'm gonna go to combat. Why can't I? Why couldn't he? Oh, Do he have summoning sickness or some nonsense? Why couldn't he attack? Did I miss a, a trigger? Well, I screwed something up. That's for sure. That's for sure. I made a mistake somewhere. I don't know why. I thought I hit all attackers. I don't know what happened there. But we're 17 to 5. That's what I know. Top four cards, put one of them in your hand and the rest in your library. Hey, hey! Awful deck wins again somehow. I really don't know how. Well, I do know that crocodile's doing it for us. Ooh, we got a card. <gasps> we got. <sighs> you know? You ever. You ever open up a package and say to yourself, "Oh, this probably has delicious candy inside of it. And then you find out that instead of candy, there's just beets. Raw beets. That's what happens when you pull an omniscience. I don't want to click. I don't want to push this button. I'm so upset. Oh, we're at one hour. All right. We're going to cut this off. And then next episode, we will play through and either get our loss in, or we will uh, we will keep going and get some more packs. That sounds like fun. But you know what? Before we wrap up, we've got a pack to open. We won earlier. Let's open this guy up. Let's see what we get. Boom. Well, we already had one of these, which is cool. I love the bog stomper. I just lo it's a giant crocodile. Alright, so we got our cards. I think that's two Side Master Thopters I picked up so far. So we'll add those to our collection. Of course, we're out of packs for right now. Next time we come back, we will resume our quick draft. We'll see you then, folks. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we hope to see you soon.